My name is Dennis Speed, and on behalf of both the Schiller Institute and the Foundation for the Revival of Classical Culture, I'm quite happy to welcome you for today's concert. Um, I think everybody has been given the Hallelujah Chorus. If you didn't receive that, hold up your hand. Everybody's got it? Okay, so you're supposed to sing that together with the assembled chorus at the point that you are cued to do so. Um, cell phones off? Oh, you don't have one. Okay, Fred, can you get this lady a copy of the Hallelujah Chorus? Okay, good. The cell phone's off. Uh, I think everybody received the program for the concert, uh, and you know that we have characterized the concert as devoted or dedicated to the unity of New York City. Uh, the concert program says several things about that, and I don't need to go through that here. But I do want to say something uh, about the necessity of what we're doing. This is not being done merely because it's a good idea to perform Handel as it always is. That's not what this is. Our country, our city, is in a crisis, and music, in specific, is the solution to that crisis. That's not because we say it, it's because it's always true. We live in a time where important uh, historical events and in important ideas of how we as a nation should govern ourselves are at issue. And people find it difficult to come by a higher conception than the bankrupt politics, for example, that plagues us all. The poet Shelley, in his defense of poetry, points out that poetry in a general sense may be defined to be the expression of the imagination and it is connate with the origin of man. He says poets or those who imagine and express this indestructible order are not only the authors of language and of music, of dance, architecture, statuary and painting, they are the institutors of laws and the founders of civil society, and the inventors of the arts of life, and the teachers who draw into a certain propinquity with the beautiful and the true, that partial apprehension of the agencies of the invisible world which is called religion. Now some of you may know that Shelley was a professed atheist. So you may want to puzzle as to why he would say what he just said. But more importantly, we're in a church about to perform Messiah, and we are saying that this is for the unity of our nation. The struggle is to come by a higher conception of man, reasserting the difference between the human being and the animal, the necessity of human beings. And that necessity is that poets, as Shelley concludes his essay, are the unacknowledged legislators, not only of the world, but of the universe itself. Law is not possible without poetry, and poetry is not possible without human beings. To begin our program, we will hear uh, Bach's Adagio and Fugue in G minor, played by Yeji Park. And I think that's the best way to give, if you will, a musical invocation of the dignity of man. <laughs> 